So I just finished my skincare routine and I'm gonna show you all the products I use now because skin looks really bad right now since my last skincare routine video and that's because I went to China. I went to China and the air was so bad, it messed up my skin so horribly. Like, I can't even like explain how bad my skin was. Let me focus this. Yeah. So it was just so bad that like my skin was just horrible. Like I can't even explain it. Like it's 10 times worse than this. I'll show you what I use in order of what I use. First, if it's nighttime, I use this to take off my makeup. It's like really inexpensive, it gets my makeup off. And then I use, if it's also if it's nighttime, I use right here. You, I don't know if you can find it in the States. I got this while I was in China and it's really, really nice. I literally got it from the grocery store and it's a really good cleanser. Now, if it's morning time, I skip both of those and I use this from Kiehl's. It's really good. It cost me a lot of money though. It was $30 for this tube. <clears throat> and then I use this as a moisturizer. I got this from my friend who recommended it. I don't know. It, it works. So I got this from Kiehl's. I don't know if you can even see it because it's really hard to read. But it's the Daily Reviving Concentrate. They also have a nighttime serum, which is I heard is really good. I'm going to try it, but this is also really expensive. Kiehl's in general is a little bit expensive, but I like it a lot. I started using it one time, about $60. Um, for toner, I use this. I just got it from Sephora, the lady is for. It's pretty lightweight. I like it a lot. I haven't seen a difference in my skin yet, but that's because I've only been using it for like a while. And then for uh, SPF, I use this. My skin is very, very sensitive. This is why my skin reacted in China really badly. So I use, sometimes I'll use like baby stuff, like things for sensitive skin or things that are meant for babies. And it works because it has the same amount of SPF in it. The only thing is that it does make my face gray. So let's hop into the video. First, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Okay guys, I just did my eyebrows off camera. And I'm also realizing that I should probably just go ahead and do my edges as well and lay them while this is happening. So I'm going to do my edges off camera and then I'm going to come back and then we're going to start the video. Alright, so I just finished doing my edges. Just, I'm not that great at edges okay, so don't judge me. I'm just going to put this scarf on it. Also, I want you guys to pay attention. Do you see how well my brow fits? my skin but it doesn't fit my forehead you guys see that I have perfect pigmentation and the okay so when I take this scarf back off okay and the rest of my face looks good and this doesn't don't judge me okay just let me live my life oh guys so now I'm actually gonna get started for my makeup routine foundation I use is the Born This Way foundation um I literally just started using it it's really good and I love Jackie Ina that's why I bought it but Lacombe's foundation will always be my favorite. It just matches me so well. This, they were out of a few shades, so this is the shade that I ended up getting, because this is the shade that this boy lady gave me. Let's just... Also, I know that putting makeup directly onto my face is probably problematic for me, but at this point, oh, thank I didn't even, wow, skip the whole step. I usually put, uh, I color correct and then I set my color corrector. And that is the key to my flawless foundation that y'all be seeing inside of my Instagram pictures because y'all see my skin? Exactly. I set it like this. And I set it like this. All those pimples, I set them right into my skin. And then I just pat it into my skin. And this makes your foundation last a lot longer. This is the foundation brush I use. Um, it's from Ulta. It is from Ulta. You guys see, this isn't the best match for my skin. It's a little bit orange, a lot of bit orange, but it's not even really the lady's fault because I went, I only had like, I had, well, I went to Philly for a few days, so I really only had two days in between coming home from China and, and going to Paris. So you guys see how orange that is? Yeah. This okay, we're gonna fix it. So I couldn't wait for the other foundations to come into stock. So she was like, this one will fit you. And I was like, you know what? I'll take it at this point. And it looked like it fit really well when, when we were in the place. I'm also gonna go check my makeup every few seconds at the mirror because I'm filming, I'm doing my makeup on my phone camera, which is 
for obvious reasons, not gonna work. Ooh, this really does not fit at all. <laughs> I'm so mad. But I already bought this foundation, so we're gonna keep working with it. So yeah. So we're just gonna have to keep working with it. Okay. I use this shade for contour. It's not really anything special. It's my sister's old foundation. If you ever see my sister, she's a lot darker than me. I use her old foundation because she doesn't use this foundation anymore and she gave it to me, so. It's from NARS. It's literally a foundation. It's not even like a concealer or anything. I just need a line right here, a line right here, a line right here, and a line right here. And then I do a line up here, but I'm gonna do that after I take this off because you're gonna see why. Brush right here to blend out my contour because it's foundation brush, but I think it buffs really well, so. foundation actually I use this Tarte foundation for my highlight um, I just put a little bit under my eyes I know I direct, apply everything directly to my face it's probably why you have acne jewel I don't care oh, wow I love this background I really do this looks amazing and then um, I use actually I use a little tiny brush. I let that dry for a little bit. Jackie Anna taught me that trick. I let it dry for a little bit to make it easier to blend in. Uh oh. Where did that brush go? Oh, there it is. I use this little brush to blend in my highlight because I can be more specific and it just works for me. Again, guys, I'm not a professional makeup artist, so don't be in the comments dragging me if I ever, I don't know if this video happens to get anywhere. <coughs> I wish this shirt sat up like this. Like, imagine if my titty sat up like that. Y'all see? <clears throat> yes. A lady actually thought I was this color. I don't know if it was because, I think I bought it my first winter in Michigan. I don't know what happened, but the lady gave me this color and I wasn't bold enough back in the day to say, no, I don't want it. So I just bought it and it was really expensive. Fun story. It's coming together. It's coming together. All right. Okay. It's coming together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. After, sometimes after I do that, I'll take this brush and I'll just do this to blend my foundation brush because if you try to go straight from this color to this color without this color in between, I'm going to look crazy. So I'll just And usually, like, I just alternate between three of these brushes, like, of reapplying whatever color it is that I feel like I need in that space. my family arguing in the background so I just do that and then sometimes I'll blend out more of this I just honestly just whatever looks good that day do I have cat hair on me? it's amazing how cat hair just follows me everywhere I go so yeah I'm just gonna keep what is this I know I see cat hair or do I I don't know and then you just have to keep Ugh. 
because I always hate the way I do my foundation when I do my makeup for camera because I don't have a mirror. And I'm always like, okay, I've blended enough. And then I go back and I didn't blend enough. So I'm just gonna keep blending. I'm just gonna keep alternating. Just keep alternating. Continuously blend. Okay, wow, five minutes of blending. Let me move on because I just don't have the space anymore. After that, I'm gonna set it. I usually actually don't set my face, but I'm gonna set it for the camera just because. By the way, I have this, I use CoverGirl setting powder, y'all. Let's see how much is in here, can you see? It was like a full whole thing. And then while I was in LA with my friend, she dropped it. Y'all, I was so salty, but it was so funny, so I didn't even care. But now I'm salty because I have to buy another one. This is just a random brush that I got from one of those little gifts, you know, out of my little altar bag. And then I'm gonna use this right here. I use this one as bronzer. I take this brush right here that I also got from, oh, this is from Real Techniques. These are the best brushes, honestly, Real Techniques. And I just swirl it all the time, swirl it, 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 and just brush. I swirl it, I swirl it, I swirl it again. I swirl it, I swirl it. I'd have to disagree. Spare is definitely a thing in Europe. And then, yeah. Y'all see how amazing this foundation looks? If it looks amazing, I don't know how it actually looks on camera. But. Let's see how great it looks. Wait till I take off this bonnet. Then we can see the difference. And that's it. We do that. Okay. Next, I'm gonna put on some blush. I'm gonna go grab it. I know my face isn't that bright, but I really do enjoy seeing the clouds in the background. So get over it. Um. So I'm gonna use. This is just like a random palette that I got literally when I was 12, and I haven't bought professional blush yet because. I didn't start wearing blush until literally like last week. So, drag me if you want to, I really don't care. This is a brush I got from, I think it's also one of those free brushes. Mix this one. I mix this one, see how broke it is? I mix this one and a little bit of this one. Love blush now, like um, this right here. I use this yellow one and this pink one mixed together because I love the pink one, but it just doesn't show up on my skin enough. So the yellow one kind of makes it pop. Oh, y'all, this blush, like I don't think y'all understand. I love blush now. Um, now I take a little bit. I take a really small brush, like literally this small. You see how tiny this is. And I take some of this and I put it right there. Perfect. And then I do it again right here. Right. A little on my nose. Put on my lip. I try contouring my nose, but I'm in a rush right now, so I'm not gonna do that right now. So now <laughs> y'all are about to see this line.
So I take some of my contour and I just put it right there and then you attempt to correct it. By blending it in. Oh my God, y'all don't even know. Um, it should be inside of my fanny pack, unless somebody took it out. Ooh, y'all. Ah. I want y'all to know that like, my hand, like if I promise you it matches my body. It's just the lighting is weird, but my forehead is just so dark. Like y'all don't even know. Like, Oops. I love my hair. Up. I really do. Okay, so now that I've done that, um, I just need to put on eyelashes, and then I'm gonna put on my outfit, and then it's over. That's the end of the video. Actually, no, I need to put on a lip. Put on my eyelashes first by the way these are the lashes that i'm going to be wearing these are my favorite brand this brand right here and this brand right here wait this brand these two but these two brands right here are the best ones i don't ever buy it the only expensive eyelashes i have are for, are these and they're from this lash company with from this lash company that i really rock with i know the girl i modeled for them and she gave me free hair and they're so good but i only wear them on special occasions these right here like every day and then the Arnell Wispies are ones that I wear every single day if I just want like, if I just want like a natural look, if I'm just doing a brown eyelash day, no foundation, that's what I wear. But these two are for my everyday wear. Okay guys, these are the lashes I'm wearing. I didn't put them on the best because I'm in a huge rush because my mom really wants to leave out for the Adam Tower and for bike riding. I always put them a little bit too far this way. It's like outwards instead of putting them in. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Um, I'm gonna put on some lip gloss and then I'm gonna put my clothes and I'll be back. Okay guys, this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing a basic t-shirt because, oh wow, I hate wearing this right now. I'm just wearing a basic t-shirt because um, we're going bike riding to the Apple Tower. I'm gonna put on a different outfit. I should take pictures of the Apple Tower. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video if you want to. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching my video.